Police dash cam captures a DUI arrest in Sterling Heights, but this is just part of the problem here. In that video, the driver is going the wrong way on Metro Parkway. Our Rob Maloney walks us through it and shows us what police found after they got the driver to stop. This is where the accident happened. Metro Parkway, 16 mile and Van Dyke, one of the busiest intersections in the entire state. So it's a good thing the incident didn't happen during the day in traffic like this. Late Monday night, early Tuesday morning, a 911 call comes in about a wrong way driver going eastbound in the westbound lanes. The officer sees the taillight, slides on a 16 mile the wrong way too, with lights going. But the woman behind the wheel doesn't notice and rolls right across Van Dyke with the lights green going north and south. <laughs> Chief Dale Dwojikowski can't emphasize the danger here enough and put our officer at great risk, put herself at great risk, put every single traveling motorist at great risk uh, just driving through that intersection. Hello, Hi. how you doing? The officer finally gets the woman to stop. She says she's going home to Roseville, entirely the opposite direction. A few seconds later, another cruiser shows up and the first officer has a conversation. You realize you're in the wrong lanes, right? They don't show the field sobriety test on the video. The woman's breath test came in at nearly triple the legal limit. Sterling Heights police say, interestingly enough, they have extra money from the state and the federal government to do extra patrols during Memorial Day weekend for drunk driving. And they're saying you can best bet they'll be out here looking for stuff like this over the next four days. In Sterling Heights, Rod Maloney, Local 4. The woman behind the wheel was arrested. They put a 15 hour hold on her to allow her to sober up. Sterling Heights police sent her home on a $100 bond and she will face a judge for arraignment in the next week.